Well, it's time to finish off the George Papard set from Film Focus Imprint and we're going to finish off with Newman's Law, number 255 in the imprint range. Um, this one very much feels a little bit like Pendulum, almost like a, a very similar plot of sorts where we have the uh, LAPD officer Newman here, played by George Papard, who stumbles across a huge drug deal and uh, brings in his bosses. They have a, a kind of Italian mafia don boss who they can bring down, who they've been after for years. And everything for Newman is on the up. It's going to be perfect. This is going to get him uh, some notoriety in the police force, maybe a promotion. Who knows? Things start to go wrong for Newman. The Charlie Hush you shot was DOA at the hospital. Skipper. Everything is lined up. He's about to get his man when all of a sudden someone raids his house. They find drugs in his apartment that he has no knowledge of. He's pretty steadfast in the fact that he's been set up, but nobody will believe him. Nobody will back him up other than his partner. And he is quickly put out of the force. And that giant drug case that he was on just kind of disappears. Seems like other people have been involved, maybe higher-ups within the police force or the law enforcement agency have helped get rid of this issue. It's a man with his back to the wall, with nothing to lose, fighting again against the um, wrongdoings that have been done to him. And George Papard kind of cuts that figure of a stoic man who is happy doing his job, who will follow procedures, who will do his best and give his 100% commitment to the force. And it's the fact that you get this, this man, similar character to Pendulum, who is so for the law, who is so standing up and doing what he should be doing and subjugated because of it. And it's that kind of putting upon him, uh, turning him around and kicking him out without so much as a thank you or, or we believe you or proper evidence, just out. Uh, it kind of gives our character something to rally against. You ever seen this stuff before? No. You're under arrest for possession of narcotics. I have to take your piece, Newman. And it feels like something that Papard does really well. And I kind of like this 70s setting as well. The drug mafioso is a really interesting trait because he's using the law to his benefit to try and weasel out of all the different kind of traps that he's been set into, which I kind of like as well. And it gets to a really good finale, a really uh, bullet-fueled finale of, of just retribution, which I, I really enjoyed. But it feels, for the most part, just kind of typical. You can kind of see the beats and where they're going to go, uh, and you kind of understand how this is going to finish. It doesn't offer much in the form of surprises. Don't you ever say that to me again. Now look here, Newman. Don't you ever say that to me again. But with Pippard in the lead role, he kind of leads a cutting figure, and I enjoyed his journey from man of law to man who's willing to do anything to get his man, who's going to make the people who have done the wrongdoings pay for their crimes. <laughs> I really enjoyed Newman's Law, and I think the, the thing I kind of enjoyed most about it was the partnership that uh, Newman has with his um, partner, Gary, who he has worked with. They seem to have a real kind of relationship, and in fact, it's almost detrimental to Gary's wife, because you can see that with Newman and Gary as they have their um, chit-chats as Newman comes into the household and sees some after-effects of things, and just, you know, the, the, there's a real connection between these two people. Uh, and you feel as if they're constantly there for each other, which is, is all the more impactful when it kind of breaks down two-thirds of the way through the movie. And this was probably the most interesting facet of the film for me, this relationship, how it kind of evolved and changed uh, all the way through it uh, and led to a kind of more impactful movie, uh, even though it's a kind of typical buddies cop movie from the 70s. Ta -da! <laughs> it was all was. It was fun. Fine. Not the best of the set, but enjoyable. Uh, a good way to round out the set. This has been a real uh, enjoyable one to dig through. George Papard is an actor I really enjoyed. I hadn't seen a lot of his movies. I would love to go and check out more of his late 60s, 70s outpouring now because 
just had a great deal of fun with him. I would love to know your thoughts on Newman's Law or any other Papard movies from this era that you think I should check out, so let me know in the comment box if you have anything to say. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff in the description box below are links to Patreon, membership program, manvfilm.com, always, which you could support. Thanks for watching. See you next day.